Muscarinic agonists are parasympathomimetic drugs, which means they mimic the action of acetylcholine on the parasympathetic receptors, specifically muscarinic receptors. Now there are five subtypes of muscarinic receptors titled M1 all the way to M5. However, from a clinical standpoint, M1, M2 and M3 are the most important. M1 receptors are located throughout brain tissue and appear to play a role in cognition. M1 receptors are also located in the stomach and increase gastric secretion. M2 receptors are located in heart tissue and the sinoatrial node, therefore activation of M2 receptors decrease heart rate. Finally, M3 are located in the smooth muscle of the urinary bladder, the gastrointestinal tract, the bronchi, the pupil, but also they activate glandular tissue to increase lacrimation and salivation. Now, direct muscarinic agonists, which is what we're talking about today, have different clinical uses depending on how potent they are and how selective they are for the muscarinic receptors. Let's start with methacholine. Methacholine stimulates M3 receptors on the smooth muscle of the bronchi, therefore leading to bronchoconstriction and increased mucus secretion. So they are used to actually diagnose asthma and bronchial sensitivity. Moving on to bethanicol. Bethanicol increases the smooth muscle action in the gastrointestinal tract and the urinary bladder, therefore increase in peristalsis and bladder emptying. Bethanicol can be used in ileus, which basically means a decrease in peristalsis activity. This can be found after surgery or after spinal cord injury. Bethanicol can also be used in urinary retention. Carbacol activates M3 receptors on the pupil, causing pupil constriction and also contracting the ciliary body, increasing aqueous humor circulation and decreasing interocular pressure within the eye. Therefore, carbacol can be used for glaucoma. Finally, pilocarpine can also be used as glaucoma as a similar action as carbacol. But in addition, it increases the secretion of saliva, so it can be used in dry mouth syndromes, specifically Schrogan syndrome. A final mnemonic that I'll leave you with to help you remember the actions of these drugs is muscarinic agonists make saliva drip, pupils constrict, bronchi restrict, and bladder shrink.